Kaneko was a single sentence saying, referring to Sasu, uh, saying his name and then saying, but we don't have to have time to get into all of that, and then continuing on with the video. That is the amount that, that Sasu was brought up in that video. So I think it is absolutely ridiculous that that you have agreements with being brought up in a video where you were brought up once in a single sentence. Um, and and also you have you have stated multiple times that you are you know you want to take accountability for your actions and what you did was bad um you cannot take accountability and then also demand people to never talk about you and never talk about the things you did to people because if you actually thought that what you did was wrong you wouldn't you wouldn't mind people bringing it up because you know that you would it would show personal growth in the fact that yeah i did those things wrong and i'm working on myself the fact that you i blow up on twitter every single time someone brings you up it it just shows to me that you're not you're not willing to to learn you don't actually like I'm sorry, hold on. I'm trying to pull I'm trying to sift through my my screenshots cuz there's a few. Um but do you seriously seriously think that nobody is allowed to talk to you about you in at any point? I, I believe I made myself clear when I said I don't want to be talked about at me in any capacity. <laughs> it's because first and foremost and if I could explain it First and foremost, I'm embarrassed of what I've done. I don't want to be reminded of it because I'm not a type of, I don't want to dwell on it. I really don't want to be reminded of it because it brings up bad memories and it starts the process all over again. That's why I want to be left alone. I don't want my name mentioned in any of this. Second of all, excuse me, second of all is that I believe that the best growth is when I have a clear mind. And that means not having outside interference. That means not having people come to me and ask, what happened to you? What happened to you? Or, you know, say very mean things about this or that or third. I just, I virtually wanted to heal by myself. Now, when it comes to the Twitter blow ups, when it comes to all the times that I interjected myself when I didn't need to, that's my fault. That's my stupidity. Well, I shouldn't use that harsh term, but. That's that's my doing. And the reason is because I can't help it. I'm a, I'm a reactive guy. I'm a very reactive person in the long run of everything. I I don't usually think. I just react. I just do. And when I do, 90% of the time it doesn't work out. So when I when somebody brings me up, I react in a negative way because it's in a negative light. I don't want people to see me in a negative light. I'm trying to restart from the ground up. I'm trying to uh, rebuild uh, social circles, the ones that I badly, really, really badly uh, concocted and then destroyed. And I feel like what well, least I can be granted is just to literally 100% never be mentioned again by the community because first and foremost, I'm not fit for the community. And second of all, I'm already embarrassed with what I did. And it's already caused a significant amount of turmoil. So that's just what I want to do. So when I say, leave me alone, that's what I'm referring to. You can still talk about me in passing. I just don't want the stuff publicized because if, if it goes public, what good does it do me? What good does it do to anybody? You know, it doesn't do good to me. It doesn't do good to my family. It doesn't do good to anybody that I'm trying to affiliate with. I mean, that's just... On top of all the stuff that I had to endure the first time, this is just adding soul to the loom. That's all I'm trying to say at this point. Then let me interject. Oh, sir. Just a moment. It's okay, Sonny. I've got this one. Sasu, you are being brought up because of your actions. People do not owe you silence over how you have affected them or your actions. You have the right to change. You have the right to grow. People, you do not have the right to demand silence about your actions from the people you affected at all. Because you know what? I'm going to play a little bit of my hand here. You know the Rosa Call's been circulating, and you know what I've done? Yes. I've, eaten, I've eaten it. I take the criticism. I'm not going to do a single response to anybody who is saying negative things about me in relation to Rosa. The reason why? Because I screwed up. I said and did horrendous things in that call that I will never repeat. That's accountability. 
I own that. I'm not telling people that, well, I need to, to, in order to heal, I need to not be spoken about. No, that's not how this works. It's not. Accountability is accepting, growing, and moving on. And also, if I may, you, um, like I, like I was saying before, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You you consistently say, oh, I want to be left alone. I want to be left alone. I don't want to be talked about. I want to be left alone. And then you're posting, and you say that you're a reactive person and that it's just you reacting. Um, did you react for so long that you made a 26-page document and um, oh, you reacted when you did a, an entire interview with, uh, with Tommy's house? Oh, you just reacted when you uh, had discussions with all these people you were in people's lives chats and all that um this that's not reaction that is that is <laughs> you cannot react for that long that that's what you do um and it, like yeah, i explained said, all of that not... go for it okay when i say reactive i mean like in the moment things like the twitter bursts the the posts that i've written the very small like things that were deleted within like an hour or two and the stuff that I just throw out on Twitter, that's reactive. That's what I'm talking about. When it comes to the interview, when it comes to the document, that was because, and I'm going to be blunt and 100% honest because I know everybody wants honesty here. The reason I did that was because I held a lot of animosity. I held a lot of it for what happened, especially against, especially against Lyo. Because, and I, I detailed my grievances out there in that document wholeheartedly. Was that, and the, the the whole that whole, I guess um, animosity started on September second in the document if you read it, which I know you did. When you essentially told me that my mental health did not matter to what I did, that's when I had a perpetual hate, and that's when I was that's when I said to myself, at some point or later, I got to get back at you. I gotta I gotta. I got to kick you when you go down at some point because we all go down at some point. So when I wrote the document, I know I said in there that it was not a parting shot. It was not to, you know, kick a man while he was down. That's half true. I wasn't trying to do that, but it was just to vent my frustrations because nobody listened to me. Nobody gave a fuck about what I did or, or, or what I said and how I tried to rectify it as, as paper thin as it may be to, to the, subjective sense all when i guess you could say now that i think about it i probably should have just not said anything i just should have been on the sidelines and just said so, nothing but now is where i'm going to step in when i said your mental health does not matter it was not in the sense of it doesn't matter as you don't matter as a person it's because it did not matter because you were trying to use it as an excuse to your abortions. You can have mental struggles. We all do. It does not excuse or justify how you treated people, how you acted, or how you reacted. So I'm going to lay this out for you as sternly and fairly as I can. Okay? Go ahead. <laughs> you cannot sit here and tell me with your full face a few things. One, nobody cared about you. Sasu, when you were posting about hurting yourself on social media, who called you? You did, twice. Why? Because you were genuinely concerned about my well-being at the time. Yeah. So, so don't, don't, don't play that game. When people allegedly treated you horribly in that June call, who held them accountable? You did, and you told me that, and Aaron told me that at the time too. And you have been heard out in multiple calls. And the second one I had with you with Asaka was you constantly talking about how people need to make room for your problems your issues to their detriment. Literally, that's what you were saying. Because you wanted to come back in the Senate knowing Lumio didn't want to be around you because, well, we shouldn't change all of our values around Lumio, around one person. You have been heard out 
multiple times. Now, I have tried to help you in multiple ways to my own detriment. I have sent you something to see if that'll help you out. I have been on the phone with you and your mother to try to get you some help in terms of interaction and being around people who um, are of the caliber you would like to be, because I'm going to try to be kind and polite to you in this call. I have taken the brunt of the nonsense that people have tried to throw your way concerning me. And on top of that, when people started harassing you by a bail, by a DoorDash, I did my best to keep you calm and tell you what to do and to how to respond to it. You have said multiple times here that you just want to be left alone. You just want to go away. That could be 100% balanced. It. it could be. It's not what you actually want. And the way I can tell that is by your actions. In a few ways. Number one, you constantly vulturing around the community, hoping to see me stumble and fall because you're angry at me when all I've done is try to help you. And that is literally all I have done. Let's try to help you. Much to the chagrin of the people around me. Because I am foolish enough to try to help people who don't want to change. Something that I am very recently choosing to not do any further. Secondly, the moment you thought you'd get an upper hand, where do I find you? I find you on Kumo's server, running a mouth. And not just Kumo's server, I also found you in Crystal's. Now, Crystal is kind enough to learn how to play the game. So while it seemed like we were beefing on social media, we were still talking behind the scenes. Actually, it wasn't Crystal Server, was it? It was Doritos, I think. I saw what you said in that server. Do you want to justify to me why you thought it was okay to accuse Peaches and I of being friends with benefits? That was something I said in the heat of the moment, and I apologize. I don't care. I retract that. I, I, don't, I don't want your apology. I want to know why you thought it was acceptable, because you know better. I can't explain that. I don't have a, I don't have a cohesive explanation for it. Because here's the hard line truth of the matter. You ran to Tommy House. I haven't heard the end, but I'm sure it's filled with pathological lies. Because unfortunately, that's who you are, Sasu. You will lie. You have lied. And you will continue to lie. You show up in places you are not wanted. You constantly try to edge your way into other places, knowing full well that you're not going to be accepted there either. And you plot and desire revenge against a man who has never actually done you wrong. Because I haven't, Sasu. If anything, I've done the people around me wrong by trying to help you more. I... That's, why we, that's why we have a problem. Go ahead, Sonny. I was just going to also bring up, um, if you didn't want to be... Uh, if you didn't want to be dragged back into this, then you shouldn't have been lying on interviews um because i'm gonna bring up and also bringing up things that don't <laughs> actually make lyle look bad and pretending that they do um for example i actually wrote down a bit of a transcript of the uh, of the interview i didn't get through the whole thing because i got so fucking mad that i i closed it out uh, i was listening to it just before this call i had to close it out because it was genuinely killing me off um but you specifically stated, I was starting to get very close to one of the mods, and I will admit that I made rash decisions, uh, incorrect decisions, and I've apologized and taken accountability for that in the document. But the way it was handled was exceptionally bad. And uh, the point where I started, I stopped transcripting was when you said, I was never told of any boundaries. Correct. Do you think that's true? Yes. You okay? You gotta be kidding me. You were told on multiple occasions in multiple calls, "Hey, what you are doing is is borderline parasocial, and what you are doing is unhealthy for both yourself and for the people around you, and especially to Lumi himself." So what you need to do is take a step back, and that was the first call, and we've all agreed that that call was very gentle, it, we were handing, handling you with cotton gloves, and we told you very firmly and gently, hey, I, you know, what you're doing is not okay, it's, it's not healthy for you, I'm telling you this as a friend, 
you know, you can come to me anytime if you need to, to vent, but you need to stop, you need to stop trauma dumping on people, you need to stop crossing Lumi's boundaries, and you need to respect that, that Lumi is, is uncomfortable by how close you are trying to get to him. That is the call we had where it was plainly set out, and still, you tried to push, and you tried to push, and you were trauma dumping on other people as well. You were told multiple times, I don't, you know, I don't want to hear about like, I don't want to trauma dump, like, I don't want you to trauma dump on me, you were told multiple times, and, and that is why the second call happened, because you were pushing those boundaries, and, and in the call, you said, and I quote, when we spoke together, I, I brought up, why on earth would you go to people who have specifically said that they don't want you to trauma dump on them, when someone, me, has told you that they're happy for you to to vent to them. You have an avenue where you can actually talk to these people, so why would you go to other people? And you said, and I'm, I'm quoting this verbatim, you said, the best way I can answer is that I go to the first person I see and dump on them. And I said, that's stupid, and you agreed. So you were told about boundaries multiple times, and you still crossed them. That's why the second call happened. So what you're not going to do is lie on this fucking call, because I, if off, you want to talk it out... You are literally lying. We literally have the call where you where you were specifically told don't cross these boundaries, and we have the second call where you specifically brought up the fact you you agreed to the fact that you crossed those boundaries. You have Fact, in the, sec- times on- in the call he had with Asuka and I, you literally said you don't agree with somebody's boundaries. You knew they were there. Yeah. So I'm no. Just, I'm, oh, yes, you did. That's recorded, Sasu. That's recorded. And I'm being very calm, very patient with you, but I will not accept this from you. I've accepted enough from you, I think. I will not allow you to lie about your actions, because you have been doing that for quite some time now. It's also why you've had no problem terrorizing people in order to get the attention you wanted. And this is something I often would not say, because usually I find it important, but as somebody who's had to put up with that behavior for the better part of two years now, I feel I am somewhat qualified to speak of it. What you did to Asuka and Indo was absolutely horrific. And I think you did it to them because you knew they'd be vulnerable enough to put up with it. That's absolutely I'm untrue, not. and you know that. Actually, I know that it is true. You want to know how I know it's true? It's because the minute I hopped on Go call... Go ahead. I want to hear that. I want to hear that. The, the moment I hopped on call and I told you to knock it off, you did. That's because I didn't know what the hell you do. You were threatening to call the cops on me, sir. Because you were threatening to drive your vehicle off a ridge, sir. And, and when I you explained, and Asuka, I explained. And when Asuka, excuse me, when Asuka and Endo told you that they were going to call to get you help, you told them if they did, you would have the cops shoot you. You didn't say that to me. So I said it in the last conversation I had with you. I'm going to say it here. You have a tendency of playing these games with AFAB people. You're not going to play it with me. And you shouldn't do it with them either, but I know what your limits this, are. You're not dumb enough to pull this out with has, me, so you're not going to start here. This, this has nothing to do with AFAB people. That's, don't even go get started on that. This has I nothing to did, do with that, AFAB right? people. Excuse me. There's, this has it. nothing to do with AFAB people. This has nothing to do with then AFAB explain, people. This, then explain the pattern. Can you explain, explain the, pattern. the pattern? Yeah, because you'll do it to us. The Oscar. only thing I can, I can explain... Know? You'll do it to you'll do it to Sunny. You did it to Lumi. You tried to do it with Peaches. You don't do it to me. You did it with Smout too. That's six, Sasu. You didn't do it, and you didn't do it with Baiji. Well, Baiji's a piece of shit. We all know that. But regardless, regardless, I'm of gonna that, be hold on. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real mean because I think you need to hear this. I'd take Baiji over you any day. I, I actually did not hear that. What did you say? I said, I'll take Baiji over you any day. And I'm not saying that to be specifically mean. I'm saying that so, because with Baiji, what you see is what you get. With you, so, you have to lied. So you're going to take somebody who falsely called me a rapist over me. Is that what you're saying? You know what? I've actually had the chance to re-listen to that call, Sasu. That's not exactly what happened Baiji's That's point, exactly what happened. I am not done. Baiji's point is that rapists also like 
to abuse boundaries. It was an asinine comparison, but it wasn't calling you a rapist. Technically, he was. He was saying that my actions linking me to a rapist, therefore he called me a rapist, or a rapist in the not, making. That is not how that works, Sasu. That is exactly how not, it works. I just told you that's not, and it's not going to be accepted. And I just also pointed out a six-person pattern of behavior for you that I noticed you can't really can have any sort of retort to. So the reason why well, I say if you would let me explain, you, go ahead, explain if away. You would why let me explain. Go for it. I said this, and I'm going to say it again, and you better let me talk because yes. this is starting to get really mm -hmm. stupid. Can, can you let me talk? Go for it. I don't take advantage of AFAB people. I don't take advantage of anybody in general. I, for, I like I said, reactive. I am reactive. Sometimes it's a spur of the moment. Other times it can linger out for days. You don't know what I'm thinking in my head, first and foremost. You don't know what's wrong with me. So don't even go there. All right, we're, we're going to close that avenue off really quickly. Second of all, second of all, I, I, am, I can't convey my emotions properly. So whenever I'm feeling sad or angry, it comes out as anger or violence. That's the unfortunate thing about it. You don't know what I have to go through. You're never going to know what I got to go through. And frankly, I don't need you telling me how I should deal with it. I'm dictating. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm not dictating how you should feel. I am you dictating. kind of are. No. I am dictating how you will not react. Oh, Feelings sorry, are one you... thing. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, I nobody. We're not saying what you should be doing. Uh, like I've given you, like, well, I gave you advice before on what you could do. That if you don't want this, if you don't want X to happen, you shouldn't do Y because they directly correlate. Oh, no, died. Oh, there he is. Um, but they directly correlate with each other. So if you don't want X to happen, you shouldn't do Y. That's it's just basic equations. What? But what you're trying to do is. You're, you're the one trying to dictate what we should do because you're the one being like, I don't want anyone to talk about me ever. Um, and you shouldn't talk about me and shouldn't bring up anything you do. You are trying to dictate our, uh, on, on what we should or should not say. And the fact of the matter is you've recognized a few times that you hurt people. Um, so do you think that people who are not hurt by you are allowed to talk about the way that you hurt them? And then refuse to... I... Um... Hello? Yes. Go on. No, go on, dude. It was really, I, I, go on. I, in that document, and I said multiple times in voice calls, and don't interrupt me when I say this, because I, I'm, I'm trying to be as patient as possible. <laughs> I'm trying to be as, 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 as uh, detailed as possible, and I'm trying to be as forefront as possible. I have admitted to what I did wrong. I'm not proud of what I did. I'm not defending what I did. And I'm not going to be called a liar because my mother never raised a liar. And frankly, I'm oh. starting to think, and I hate, excuse me, I hate, I hate to even bring this up, but now I'm starting to feel like I'm being attacked for, for being a male with uh, mental issues. Woo. I'm so glad you brought that up because I want to talk about this Twitter friend. Do you think that we're, do you seriously think that people are attacking you because you're a cis white male, uh, Jewish male? Is, is that yes! the reason you think? No, Sasu. Okay. Then let's tackle that. <laughs> let's tackle that whole. Oh, he bit. It's a liar. You read it yourself. In what way, <laughs> in what way do you think any of us are anti Semitic? It's not, it's not the anti-Semitic thing. Let's put that to the side. I'm talking about my, my white heritage, first and foremost. I'm talking about my white skin color okay. and my, the okay. fact what that I'm a male. Think, what do you think your ethnicity has anything to do with how people are talking to you and dealing with you right now? Because anybody, and I said this in the Twitter thread, and it's true that when Aaron had a meltdown, they had to be caught. When Aiden had a meltdown, they had to be caught. When Sonny had a meltdown, I was there to coddle them, and multiple people oh. were there to coddle them. When anybody 
with a trans that was transgender or was gender fluid or non-binary had an issue they were comforted but when it came to me a white cis male as we call it now when i came and i said i need help i was literally screaming for help but i didn't know how to vocalize it what had happened to me i got villainized for it and i got browbeaten in, 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 a, in front of a hundred people so that's why i think that and i know it's true that's it no where right. can i no Mind if I say a point if that's okay? Here. You can so, go ahead. You'll still take a shot at it. Yeah, so you're saying that you weren't cuddled because you're a cis white male, right? Going off yes. the idea. Like, I, I don't really know you, Sassy. You don't really know me kind of thing. Um, So when I had an issue, when me and Lyo had an issue, um, and Erin was convincing them to make a video on me, there's a call which, again, was deleted between me and Lyo. I wasn't cuddled. I wasn't supported. I in the third call, which was never even made public, I was almost crying. It's not just because you're a cis white male that you were treated that way. I was treated like shit as well. So I I, I don't really get that excuse because I'm I have all the I have all the things which you're trying to say, oh no, only people like this. I'm autistic, I'm trans. I have all of that and I wasn't cuddled and protected. It's just that's a weird point for you to raise. <laughs> Also, well, it's a true um, point to raise because, again, go ahead. Well, if, if it's a no. true point, then why did they not cuddle me then? You're, compar you're comparing one call to the months of shit that I had to endure during and after the fact. Okay? I had, I had to endure. My mental like, issues. I had to endure, like, almost Crystal. full character assassination. Like, you, again, you're saying it's not an example. Yeah, you did. Like, you were saying, yeah, I had to endure, like, uh, people trying to fully attack my but character multiple hate messages and everything like that so your point of being you weren't cuddled because you're a cis white male mm -hmm. makes no sense because i wasn't cuddled either and I'm trans. <laughs> also one moment i'm before we continue please sasu have you at least pulled over because i don't need you agitated while you're driving i've been pulled over for the last 20 minutes good just mm -hmm. wanted to make sure all right so here's where i have to cut in here okay go ahead sasu Number one, Crystal has a very valid point. Because frankly, the kindness I gave you, I should have showed to Crystal. Secondly, Aaron wasn't coddled due to just the breakdowns. And on top of that, you actively continued to do scumbag things. Why would I coddle you while you're being terrible? My mental health issues are not a result of being a scumbag that that's a completely unfair that's completely unfair to even equate the two and i am genuinely offended by that okay then look, my mental health issues offended. excuse that's me excuse me happen. excuse me excuse me my mental health issues are the result of a multitude of other things that i'm not going to go into publicly here and frankly i don't want to go into publicly here and i told you this three separate times in this call the fourth time can you let me you talk? To, because that's why you're doing this. Sasu, I've been letting you talk, but I'm not going to let you run roughshod over people here because it's what you like I'm not to do. So I'm going to be very clear here. I'm going to be very clear here, and I've been very firm. I haven't even raised my voice to you. So you're going to listen. When you were not treated cruelly because of your mental health, you weren't treated cruelly at all. We told you that your reactions and the way you were responding to your mental health issues was a problem. You were not treated like a monster. You were not harassed by us. You were told in multiple calls, most of which that you requested, go somewhere else. We don't want you in our spaces. And in the okay, call that's... you and I had with Asuka, and including this one, I'm not done. You admitted your biggest issue is that you don't like it when you don't get your way, and you're acting the exact same way this time. So no, I'm not going to let you sit here and say that, well, you don't care about my mental health. What about my coddling? Sasu. <clears throat> it doesn't justify. And that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to use your mental health to justify your actions, and that's not going to be accepted here. I'm sorry, but no, sir. It will not. Also, and I more to I the point. Go ahead, Sonny. I just want to point out that uh, you say that you weren't treated fairly or kindly at any point. Um, did the first call, did that happen or did it not? Where we sat you down and very, 
very gently explained things to you and you agreed that you were going to try and go get help and, and work on yourself for like three to four weeks before you started pushing boundaries again. Did that first call not happen? Oh, I, I never said it didn't happen. I, I, I okay. have acknowledged it times. Okay, so what do you mean that you weren't treated kindly at all? Because that call... That call happened where we tried to do it delicately, and then when you did it, uh, and then the second call, I for a fact remember that I was I was absolutely furious coming into the call, but I still spoke to you with a level voice, and I tried to let you know all of my frustrations because you were doing things that had hurt other people, and you felt like you were entitled because that's what it is. It was entitlement. You felt you were entitled to be around spaces with the people that you hurt because you felt that you had re like you had recovered yourself enough. You didn't seem to, to to think about the fact that the people you hurt had not recovered enough. They were not ready to let you back into their spaces. And because you weren't allowed back into your spaces, you made that document where you where you uh, were upset and, and you called people like, and you, you know, you called me a close friend despite not treating me like a friend for, for all that years. But that's neither here nor there. You, in the call, um completely out of nowhere, she raised your voice and screamed at me after, after we had had a private call beforehand where I had specifically laid out, um, we had shared things with each other. I had specifically told you about one of, one of the triggers that will, would set off a traumatic reaction from me and I explained why. And you still raised your voice to me. And I phrased myself wrong in the third call that happened because I don't want it to come across. I don't want to, I want to make it plain clear. I don't know if you did it intentionally or not. I'm not going to say if you did it intentionally or not, but you came out of the gate screaming when I had a low tone with, a completely regular and low tone with you. And then you want to say that you were the, were, were the one being victimized? when you started screaming before anyone else did? Because I didn't shout at you, Sasu. Did I deserve to be screamed at in that call? I wasn't shouting at you directly. I was shouting you. in general. Okay, well you were talking to me and you randomly started screaming. That's because, Does, not, that's because just, I had one person trying to tell me something, and then I had another person trying to tell me I was a scumbag, and then I had a third person trying to say another thing, and it got overwhelming. And hmm. the December call, the third call, hold on, the third call, the December call, the, I was pissed because you people, you people came in oh, and tried to interfere with something that I was trying to do away from you people. That's what pissed me off the most during that whole fucking thing was that I was trying to do my own business. And then for whatever reason, Asuka and Aiden had the brilliant idea to play superhero and go and talk to the artists that I was trying to talk to when they're totally capable of telling me anything themselves and then try to play, play hero and essentially start the whole process again. That was bullshit. That whole thing was bullshit. I, I, I hold a lot of resentment over that. I hold a lot of resentment over that. I, and again, I will state, I did shit wrong, but some of you people did not handle it right. And I'm, I am going to take that to my grave. Sasu? Sasu? Sonny's what? not referring to you raising your voice in that call. Sonny's referring to you raising your voice against them completely needlessly and out of nowhere in the June call, but Sonny was the only person talking to you. And that's what I'm saying. No, that is what I'm saying. You just mentioned the call that we. You, no, you just mentioned the call here in December. The call that happened in June, which is what Sunny was relating to, didn't have three people talking to you at the same time. You weren't overwhelmed. You just raised your voice randomly. We just listened to that call today. You're not going to play that game here, no, sir. And I. So call, then we must have listened to two different calls because I specifically remember people were trying to say your apologies uh, too political. You're not saying the right things. Oh, we don't want to hear this. We don't want to hear that. You uh, got uh, this. Happened. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on just a second. I, I'm starting to get really fucking upset with all of this because it doesn't seem like at least for the fourth time you people are trying to 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 do. I, I, I would even say that this is starting to get into character assassination at this point because 
if you want to go down that route, if we want to go down this route, you knew very well, and most people knew very well, I had issues with social cues, and I had issues with anger. Uh That was completely Uh voided and not acknowledged. Hold on. It was not acknowledged, and none of it was even considered. All it was, all this has been, has been some type of, I even say conspiracy to get me to get riled up and to give you guys content. And this is starting to get really fucking stupid. Because, frankly, I'm 26 now. Hang on. No, I don't think so. Let me be very clear here, Sasu. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're trying to play this game. This is not conspiracy. This is is not character assassination. No, you don't know what that word is if you're using that in this context. You came into this call and you literally admitted not only do you have anger issues, but you have issues with violence as well. That's a problem. Oh, you're no, you're not going to take that out of context. Always, I'm not taking anything out of context. You're going to sit and you're going to listen. Your problem this entire time has always been that you're not getting what you want. Just like now, we are telling you directly what has happened in these calls that we have recently listened to. We are telling you what your actions and reactions have been through this entire debacle. And whenever you are held to task on it, you start getting upset. You start raising your voice. You start claiming things like conspiracy. Sasu, let me be very candid with you. If we wanted to diminish you and conspiratize against Mm. you, we wouldn't do it by sitting in a Discord call. We do what those scumbag weirdos you used to hang out with are doing. Also, um, yeah, that's fine. Hold on. Go ahead, Sonny. Again, I'm, I'm baffled that uh, when you say that we must have listened to two different calls, are you, I, I am, listen, I have the call pulled up right now. I am happy to pull it up right now. If someone gives me permission to screenshot, I will happily pull it up. But because if you don't, because if you seriously don't believe that it came completely out of nowhere, I'm happy to show you. Because the context of what was happening in that was that you got heated about, um, I think it was Plink or something, uh, saying about, um, like, uh, you, you were saying something about, I, I believe, sorry, this is off the top of my head, I don't remember the context fully, but Plink was said something along the lines of, um, Sasu only cares if it's Lumi talking because I was talking about a specific situation that you blew me off, you you undermined what I was talking about, but then once Lumi did the exact same thing, uh, Lumi, uh, you, you basically, like, you treated Lumi completely differently when something that me and Lumi did was the exact, basically the exact same thing, and Plink brought that up, you got really mad at that one comment, I was explaining, and then uh, you chilled out. I was explaining, oh, the context of that is that Plink is saying that when I did that, when I told you something personal from my life, you did, you kind of brushed it off. But when Lumi told you something from his life, you, you like, you know, got really upset about it. That's why Plink is making that equation, because in that sense, it did seem it it did come across like it only mattered if Lumi said it. And you and I was like, and I said very plainly, very calm, like talking exactly how I'm talk- talking now. Um, you know, do did you understand? The, like, do you understand? Like, did you misunderstand what was said there, or it, do you, do you take that as it is? And you said, oh yeah, I misunderstand it. And then uh, you were like, I'm just sick and tired of of people. Like, um, it was you said something else, and then you just started screaming. And that's why I had to be like, you are not gonna take that toad with me because I'm literally just sitting here. Um, you can't, like, I'm I'm not gonna sit here and be like, every, every single action you've ever taken in the entire situation is malicious. I'm not gonna do that. That's my personal opinion. People are free to disagree with me. My personal opinion is you weren't malicious the entire time. However, you do not get to uh, even if it is not malicious, even if it wasn't of your intent, you still have to own up to those actions because you did them. You're a grown ass adult. If I did the exact same actions that you did, I yeah. would be I'd be apologizing for the rest of my life, literally, and okay. I would be owning up to it. And no, nope, I'm not done. You you like you you get really upset when people cut you off. Am I allowed to finish my sentence, please? Then get to the point, please. 
my point is that while you are you're saying that you're uh, you weren't malicious in the slightest you cannot do these actions and then pretend that people are are a character assassinating you by bringing up stuff that you did factually do no it's not even the factual part it's the fact that you're spreading it around the people that i associate with that have nothing to do with this first off i uh, all this stuff all this has happened in a closed or, or in, a, in a contained community and now now you're threatening to publish it and have everybody see it when they don't even know what the fuck happened and they're not even a part of it that's and the thing i'm pissed off about they're going to know because here's the issue hold on phineas please thank you sasu you talk so much about how can how upset you are that well the other the rest of the community doesn't need to know sasu you've tried very hard to let the community know your um incorrect assessment of things you can sit here and say you do things when you're upset but here's here's where i have to make a comparison that some people aren't going to like and if it triggers somebody i do genuinely apologize but it's the only one i have i already dealt with somebody who said that they had manic episodes that last days or weeks? That was Phagos. I didn't accept it from them. I'm not accepting it from you. And Phagos is a trans woman. So I'm treating you equally. Yeah, you, there you go again. You chose to go to... By treating you equally? <laughs> this is not equal treatment. Not at all whatsoever. I was, are you kidding me? Okay, you know, you're right. You Hold on, you are right. It's not equal treatment. I was a lot meaner to Phagos. Sassy. Oh, um, really? We're going to get that tone. Okay, I'll play that game. Sassy, let me pose you this. So, you want to move past this, right? You want there not to be character assassination and everything else along those lines, if I'm assuming this correctly. Again, I'm very disconnected with it. I, again, as neutral as you can be with all of this. So, you say that you've been mistreated by the Senate, you've tried to stand up, and you want to move forward, and you don't like what the Senate's doing to you currently with the, in quotations, out to assassination right yes okay so you the thing that confuses me is that when i me and lyo had our falling out you came to my server which is very disconnected from the senate and you forwarded your document and you used my place as a place to talk about everything when i made it abundantly clear to everyone who joined my server at the time that my server has nothing to do with the senate so Going off that definition of that disconnection of something will happen in its own space, haven't you attempted by your own definition to um, character assassinate Lyo? I character assassinate Lyo? Yeah, well, going by your standards, by bringing events that Lyo has done in a closed space to a different place, going, because that's what you're saying is character assassination. That's what you've done to Lyo. That's what you've done in the Senate. So did you try to attack Lyo's character with character assassination going off your own moral standings? That... Because, my, because my server has nothing Hold to on. do with the Senate. My server is PG-13. So... Hold on. Let's see. Oh, okay, I guess if that's your logic, then yeah. But you're, no, no go I'm, ahead. I'm, I'm not saying logic. I'm not saying it's my logic. I'm using your own definition of character assassination. You're saying bringing up something which happened in a closed space to a different community is character assassination. Yes, because that's why I asked you. You agreed of that, and I'm saying you've done the same thing to Lyo with bringing your document into my closed server. I wouldn't define that as character assassination. I would define that as informing people. There's, again, different standards of um, different meanings of words in that degree. So I'm just interested that you're taking such issue with Lyo talking about the allegations that you've made against him with posting his side of it, but it's okay for you to do that in other servers which have nothing to do with the Senate because you have tried to inform me about stuff that liars do, that you've had bad treatment within the Senate. And you, I'll say it, I, I don't know, and if you did have bad treatment in the Senate, I'm sorry you had to face that. I'm not part of that, but I'm generally sorry you had to face that. You, but you can't go around... Oh, you're saying not. To mul you, you, am I not, Sassy? No, you're not. Nobody here is sorry. Bec okay. And I, I state this... I, hold on. Why am I not sorry, Sassy? Oh, it's not just It's not just you, it's everybody. No, 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 no. You, you, right? said, you said, I'm not sorry. You address me. 
you you then you put me as a collective of the Senate. So how am I not sorry? Please explain. Because because you were somehow influenced by Lyle with him saying three simple bullet points. When I had this whole long document detailing what I had with screenshots, with even PayPal transactions and a fucking phone log of every every call that I had. And it, he, all, he, all he said was, oh, Sasha is a really bad person. He's a parasocial weirdo. He's a parasocial weirdo. He's a parasocial weirdo. No, and then without reason. even talking to me. Hang on no, just a second. Okay, yeah, I will. Sorry. By just the second. way, Ponder wants to talk when you're done, Crystal. Yeah, that's all good. Um, I'm, I'm just curious because I think I know who he's going with this. Sorry, sorry. I had a call come in and I didn't want to answer it. All right. Anyway, instead of asking me, hey, what's all this about? Without even asking me my side of the story, you just up and banned me and you up and ghosted me without even asking me what's going on. How is that fair? Okay, so let me explain. So... Lyo and many other people in this call. Um, did I instantly ban Sasu when you said that you had an issue with him? Did I instantly do no. that, or did I did I cause a fuss about it? You did not. You you caused a fuss about it, and you asked for evidence. Yes, I refused to ban you until I got evidence. Like Lyo, Zach, B, and multiple other people were saying, ban Sasu, ban Sasu. Do not associate with Sasu. Do not apply to Sasu. And I said, give me evidence. I don't know if what you're saying is true. And when I was provided evidence, I banned you from my space and I stopped talking to you. And it wasn't because you're the quote power social widow, because again, I don't go off testimony. The reason you're banned from my space is that people have set out clear black and white boundaries to you. And you said that you feel that you shouldn't respect that. Going off that, going off my own moral okay. standing, I don't want you in a space with minors in a PG-13 server if you cannot respect basic boundaries. That's the reason you're... All right, I'm going to dispel this once and for all. I'm going to dispel that notion once and for all. This is getting out of control with that fucking statement. Let me dispel it. When I said I don't... Re I, dis I, I disagree with the boundary. I was talking about that... That statement happened in June. That was in the June call. That was because Aiden had told me multiple times that I did nothing wrong and that I had not disrupted any boundaries. Never clearly said that, never clearly defined that until then. And he made it clear that the last time, the Cassie, last I'm, time. I'm not shouting at you. We can just talk. And we're not shouting here. Okay, I'm not shouting at least. I'm talking to you civilly. Can you give me the Because same this is out of awesome. control. I know it is, but shouting will achieve nothing. Again, there's no need to shout. I'm going to listen all... Like, I'll probably understand you better if you just speak to me calmly. So, all right, the fine. Same I'm giving you. Let me, okay, let me talk about it calmly. Yes. Go for it. When I made that statement, it was in the June call. Yeah. Leading up to that, and I'm going to preface with this. Leading up to that, and I made it clear in the document... Mm -hmm. Aiden never specified what his boundaries clearly were. And he told me the last time we had any type of breaking communication before then was May 5th through 15th. And he said, don't talk to me for 10 days. And then once we get back, once that time is up, you can talk to me again. That's what he mm -hmm. said in the call, from my knowledge. I might be misremembering it. Maybe my memory is a little hazy. It does suck. Mm -hmm. But that's what I remember. There was okay. never any discussion. Hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. There was never any discussion about what exactly the boundaries were. There was never any clear definition of boundaries. So let me explain this. If I don't have a clear instruction, I'm not going to understand it. I'm not going to fully understand it. If you don't give it to me up front, how am I supposed to know what your clear boundary is? But anyway, digressing off of that, digressing off of it, when I said that... It was out of pure frustration that he was cutting contact without even having the chance to explain everything like adults because the whole call was going to shit at that point. The whole mm -hmm. call was going to hell in a handbasket. So I just said, you know what? I disagree with that. And then I immediately said afterwards, I'll respect it regardless. 
That's what I meant when I said I disagree with the boundaries. I am tired and I'm getting so pissed off with that comment being taken but, out of context. Hold on. Okay. That comment is being taken out of context and mm -hmm. lacking significant lead up. Okay, so, so I hope that's more, clarified. You have you've actually explained um, more context than that I knew. But again, you are definitely branching me in with the majority of the Senate, or at least the whole idea of the Senate that you have. For me, if anyone even feels that they have the right to say such sentence to anyone, no matter the circumstances, no matter the context, I don't want you around my space. Because again, I'm very, very, very disconnected from the Senate. I'm very of my own thing. And I have the right to remove you from my community if I so wish. Um, I've made it clear that my server has nothing to do with the Senate. But even with the context, as I understand, like, you were frustrated. You have your full right to be frustrated. I'm not going to say how you can and cannot feel. But with that, for me to respect your feelings on the matter, you need to also respect mine. My Where I stand, if people will confidently say with their full chest, I will not respect your boundaries, I do not want someone who says that or acts like that in my space, in a PG-13 server. So that's why you were removed from MySpace. And another thing you've explained is that you've got annoyed that people don't speak to speak to you like an adult, right? And you have your full right to be frustrated with that. I've been in multiple situations where people don't speak to me, don't explain things, and a lot of it can be sorted out in a small chat. Happy days. But with that being said, you're not owed civility. People, you're not owed people's time. That's what a lot of people forget nowadays. Um, just because people here are giving you the time of day just because people will give you the time of day doesn't mean you're owed it it sucks it's terrible but it's something you need to remember because it's something i caught myself out on that i feel that i'm owed an explanation or owed an apology but you're not owed anything that's just how it is it's cruel but that's just how the world is yeah you're not fine i, I agree with that go ahead you said that uh, you were upset that that Luby wanted to cut you off and and didn't want to talk it through anymore. Um, I, it is not. I hate to tell you this, be, but I, Lumi I, is not. Huh. We were gonna let Ponder talk after Crystal. Oh, sorry, sorry. Go on, Ponder. Oh no, you can you can finish. Oh no, I was just gonna say that like. People are not entitled, like, people are, are not obligated to sit and talk things out with, with, some, with someone if that person makes them uncomfortable. They don't need, like, people should not have to have a clear, like, reason to do it. We, but we still actually gave you a clear reason. We sat you in that call and we talked to you about it multiple times and over the span of multiple calls. You just couldn't take, I, I you just couldn't, I guess, like, take that answer. So it wasn't an issue that nobody was willing to talk to you about it. It's just that you wouldn't, you didn't like the answer that you were hearing. That's not true. And that is not true. Hold on to that. It actually is. And to that, and then I'll hand this off to Ponder. Let's listen. Okay, Go ahead. Sorry. Because in my honest belief, I can change. I can absolutely do it. I've already... If I didn't care, if I didn't care, I would have immediately gone back to harassing. Well, I'm not, you know what? I'm going to avoid, I'm going to avoid making any comparisons because that's not fair. That's not oh, fair whatsoever. Oh, oh, oh. So, it's not no, your decision no. to make. It isn't. And I, it's my and I disagree with it. You disagree, disagree with my decision of saying that I do not wish to be around somebody who displays such behavior. Because to and me, I, the man has prioritize the fact that I did not kiss him on the ass. For, this is metaphorical, by the way, before you think I'm actually thinking about you that. Uh. No. I'm being metaphorical here. You prioritize me kissing your ass about the fact that you've quote-unquote changed over the, you know, actual change itself. And I am trying to stay... See, look, people are like... All right, I apologize for exploding. That was immature. That was immature. I absolutely yes. need growing up to do. Yep, you do. Absolutely I'm not going to blame Right. Yeah. yeah, you know exactly what we were disagreeing with, but go ahead, Ponder. Okay, so firstly, I would like to address that you mentioned before you feel that, you know, you would like to be 
uh, coddled or treated better. That is what I'm here for. So I'd like to take a step away just for a moment. Uh, if you will indulge me just for this, I would like you to take both of your fists, bunch your hands together into big, tight fists as tightly as you can. I want you to pull your arms as tight into your chest as you can and to tense up your body as much as it'll go. Can you, can you do that for me? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so we're going to do that. So pull everything in as tight as you can. Bunch your fists up as tight as they will go. Tight, 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 tight. Hold it there. We're going to hold it for one, two, three, four, five. And as you let go, I want you to let go now. And I want you to feel all of the tension just escaping out of your arms. I want you to push it out the ends of your fingertips. I want you to feel the tension melting away. And I want you to acknowledge that tension melting away, okay? And if you need to, I'd like you to do that again, just on your own. Anytime you feel yourself getting upset, I find it's absolutely super, super great if you're just feeling tense in the moment. So I would like to ask you some questions, if that's okay. Fine. That's fine. Okay. Have you ever had somebody yell at you out of anger in a way that made you feel uncomfortable? Multiple times. Okay. And can you expand to me how that made you feel in the moment? When somebody yells at me out of anger, I feel worthless. I feel very small. I feel that my statements are irrelevant and I feel like that I don't have any purpose in that conversation at that point. Okay. And those feelings are totally valid. Now, can we acknowledge that even if you have done it as the result of your mental health issues, I completely understand that. Can we acknowledge that you may have inadvertently afflicted those feelings on other people by lashing out at them? Can we acknowledge that? I uh, yes. Okay. So my job is to keep everything calm, to keep the flow of the conversation going without subjecting people to those feelings. I want everybody to feel heard, okay? That's fine. Okay. So in this situation, can you acknowledge that you maybe have hurt people? Not specifically with regards to lashing out, but with regards to your previous actions of following people around and as they feel disrespecting their boundaries when they ask you to not do a thing or when they clarify that something makes them upset. Yes. Okay. So in that regard, and I understand that this might be upsetting to hear, but that would make them, technically speaking, victims of your actions. Now, when it comes to victims, victims often feel better when they are given the opportunity to speak about how they have been victimized in a place that makes them feel safe. I'm sure you can relate to that, correct? Yes, yes, I can. Okay, so in that sense, the people who had been victimized by your actions should be allowed to speak upon it because it will make them feel better. It'll make them feel seen. It'll make them feel as though their emotions are valid. It'll make them feel validated and it'll make them feel safe, just as I'm sure you like to feel safe and validated. Yes. Um, so in that regard, I understand that it may be really difficult to hear how you have messed up, but if you want to grow as a person, that is one of the best ways to do it, is to allow your victims the opportunity to speak up and acknowledge how they have been wronged. And you can disagree with aspects of it, and I think it's totally fine, especially if you think it went a little too far or you're being mischaracterized, and you can share that with your friends or you can share that in spaces where that has been the case, although I wouldn't recommend it just because sometimes the internet gets a little riled up. They like to see things in black and white. Um, but in general, if you can acknowledge that you have hurt people, it is important to allow them to speak on that. So when you go around saying that you don't like people talking about you, you are effectively asking your victims to be silent. And by saying that your anger issues and the way that you lash out and that people need to be considerate of your mental health issues, I completely understand where you're coming from. However, the person that you have victimized, the people that you have victimized, are not beholden to cater to your mental health issues. And I understand that they may be a little difficult to hear, but that is the reality. When you hurt people, 
they do not take have to take your feelings into consideration because you have hurt them. And sorry, I'm trying to catch up on everything in the chat. Um, sorry, uh, you. I would like you to to fill me in on how you're feeling at the moment. I I can't describe it uh, with words. Actually, okay. Is there maybe something that is adjacent to your feelings, like a scene from a movie or a TV show that you could describe that seems accurate? Or like a sense? Uh, if not, I don't that's know fine. I, 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 I don't know if I could describe it with like a TV sense or a movie. Uh, okay. But I guess you could say that uh, now that it's put into that sense. I mean, I'm feeling a mix of emotions at the moment. I mean, there's no, there's no set one uh, emotion that I'm feeling. It's, it's a plethora of them. Um, okay. I guess uh, this when you, this when you put it like that. You no, know, the best way I can describe it is. Have you ever seen the movie uh, Requiem for a Dream, uh, Daniel Aronofsky? Sadly, I haven't, but I'll, I'll allow you to describe it to me. Yeah, um, so I might go on the tangent and stop me if I go too long. Too, That's okay, go ahead. That, that, that whole movie is based on, you know, now I, I don't do drugs, but it's based around um, addiction and drug abuse. It's a really, really good movie. Uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of feelings of... Um, a sense of guilt, a lot of remorse, a lot of regret, a lot of um, denial as well. And I, I think that's kind of what I'm sort of feeling at the moment, all four of those. Um, okay. When it comes to denial, I, I want to, I guess the way I could describe it is, is that I'm in denial that it was as bad as as people. I, I, I I'm sorry. I don't. I don't even know how to explain it. I really it's don't okay. even know how to explain. It. Well, if but, I could interject. Uh, sorry, actually, yeah. sorry. You weren't done. You go ahead. Um, the way I would say is that uh, I'm in denial that that I acted that bad from from where I sit, and this is something that I've always had an issue with. I don't. It's like with touch. Like I grab things. So when I touch something, uh, to me it feels like I'm just like lightly squishing it. When in other, when in reality, it's like I'm squeezing the hell out of it. That's what I feel like. Like I didn't know I was squeezing the hell out of something when I felt like I was just lightly touching it. Mm -hmm. um, there's a there's an overwhelming sense of of guilt now starting to come over. It's like you know what. I really shouldn't have done the, the things that I did point blank. I should have just, there, there's so many things that I could have done in a much different capacity, in a whole 180 that would have just stopped everything right then and there. And it would have never gotten to this point where I, I'd be dealing with a year and a half, a year of just constant, you know, I, I'm going to be completely honest. A lot of my anger is just driven by, by a lot of regret and anger, and I just I, I I'm a I'm a pissed human being. Like I'm a sour. I, I don't I I'm not trying to guilt trip, and I swear to God, if anybody says it, I'm going. No, to no, do, no. You're I'm fine. Going. You're fine. You're, this is safe. You get to explain how you feel. You're fine. I'm just a really bitter person. I'm a really angry person. Um, all my life. I've never gotten anything that I've ever wanted. I was always told, you can't have it. Sasha, you can't have it. You're not mentally good enough. You're not good enough. It's not good enough. You know, you're never going to have any friends because you're not like us. I always tried to fit in with the jocks rather than the nerds. And it was always like, you're not good enough, Sasu. You're not good enough. You're not good enough. And, you know, it's. I, I have a lot of... I guess I could describe it as uh, misanthropic feelings, but I just, 
I really don't like people in general. Like, I don't. I... Is it even safe to even talk about this at this point? I don't, I'm starting to get a little uncomfortable talking about it. That's okay. If you're getting uncomfortable, I can interject. First of all, I would like to say that I'm very proud of you for opening up like that and sharing your feelings to us. That was really, really considerate of you, and I thank you for that. Secondly, I would like to point out that guilt and uh, denial in particular are feelings that we uh, we end up bringing about because we don't want to it's a way of protecting ourselves because sometimes reality can be a little upsetting and it's a psychological means of basically denying any potential wrongdoing on our, our part. And that's not to put anything on you. That's just how human beings work. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I completely understand it. However, in this regard, I think acknowledging that guilt and acknowledging that a lot of those issues are coming from guilt and denial of the situation is one really big step in growing and understanding why you react that way. So I think you're already on the right path to a degree. It's just a matter of keeping yourself focused on that path, which I understand is really, really difficult for the long game, but I promise you it's worth it. So if I stand on that, if that's okay. Sure. Awesome. So yeah, um, uh, I'm actually not done. My... Oh, go on then. Look, I, how how honest do you want me to be? Do you want me to be politely honest, or do you want me to be one hundred percent brutally no no pull punches pulled honest? Whatever I would like you to be as as honest as you are comfortable being. I screw it. I might as well be as honest as possible. Look, I this is probably going to scare the living shit out of everybody. But I don't care. If we're going to be bare bones and we're going to be 100% bare bones, I... Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought somebody was talking. I, I apologize. Uh, when that call happened, in June. I didn't just have feelings of suicide. I, I'm actually, I, I, I'm going to sound like a fucking maniac when I even say this, or a, or a psychopath. Do you think that's specifically... Sorry, go I was going to say, do you specifically think that that may be a result of the anger issues? You did mention that when you get angry, sometimes you have feelings of violence. Could that be the result of it? Yes, but with this particular instance, and I'm not going to lie, I, I, I'm, I have never tried to lie. I never tried to lie. I don't try to lie during all of this, but we might as well be 100% honest now since it's out there. When I was cut off, and when I was essentially thrown away, the, the idea... Okay, and so do you think, you mentioned earlier that a lot of your anger issues stem from the feeling of not being good enough. Do you think maybe that when you were rejected and when you heard that you had potentially violated other people's boundaries, that was specifically what it brought up? The idea that you weren't good enough for the friend group, you weren't good enough to be associated with the people who felt hurt by you? Yeah, I guess you could say that. I, that's probably the best way I can put it into words. Okay, well, in that case, I would like to reframe it a bit for you. I don't think it's a matter of you not being good enough. I like to view people as weird little oblong shapes. Some of them fit together very, very well, like puzzle pieces. Some of them you have to kind of force it. Some pieces just aren't going to fit together no matter what you do. Now, over time, those pieces can shift and change. They are not completely solid. People can change and grow with time. And I think it's important to allow people that opportunity to change. So maybe you will end up fitting with some people that you didn't fit with earlier in life. That's just the reality of how growth works. I don't think it's a matter of you not being good enough. I think it's just a matter that your individual shape 
isn't meshing entirely well with the people that you want it to. So maybe it's just a matter of finding people who mesh really, really well with you and working on yourself in such a way that you can make those connections even stronger and feel worth worth everything that you want to feel and validated in your emotions. Andre, I, I really appreciate that, but I think I just fucked up by even admitting all of that. I don't think anybody's going to be a friend with me, and I know for a fact that this I'll be as honest and open with this misanthropic feeling as possible. Not only do I like humans in general, I, I despise them. I live as a hermit. I don't go out as much as possible. The only reason why I'm out now is because my, my family doesn't hear this, but if you want me to be honest... If you want me to be completely honest, I live as a hermit because I know that I cannot really function in society. Because I know for a fact one day, all this anger that I've been building up for the last couple of years is going to explode one day. And I'm either going to end up, you know, going nuts and just, that's not a good feeling. That's not a good feeling whatsoever. So when I got rejected from the friend group, I, at this point, there was a conflict between Oh, you're better than them to no. At this point, you might as well just let loose and fuck everything, and then all of it collide, and then it all turns into a mess. So, if you want to put this out on the internet? That's fine. I don't really care anymore. If you want to call my fucking job and get me fired, I don't care anymore. I, I really don't. I do not. Because so, at this no, point, sorry. Because at this point, at this point, my life is over. My life is a hundred percent over. It's been over since the day I fucking acted stupid with him. I can't take it back. It's all out there now. There's nothing that I can do. And people are probably going to say that I'm manipulating. I don't care. I don't. So I would like to clarify, nobody's going to call your job. And I completely understand that it may feel like that at the moment that your life is over. I promise you it's not. Your life will continue and you're going to have highs and you're going to have lows. And some of them are going to be really, really beautiful. And some of them are going to be really, really ugly. But I promise you that they are coming. If I can be perfectly candid, I also understand where you're coming from with regards to being a hermit. I'm basically in the same boat. However, I'm from a different end of the emotional spectrum, which is why I am also a hermit. I also dislike people. Um, but... And a lot of it is I understand that I equally have mental health issues. A lot of it is just recognizing your issues, wanting to be better, and taking those steps. Uh, recognizing the issues can be one of the biggest hurdles because there is that denial. There is that sense of guilt. There is a lack of wanting to acknowledge that something is wrong. And because taking the steps to better yourself can be really, really scary sometimes. But I promise you, it is worth it. Um, have you ever tried guided meditations? I'm on five medications. No, no, no. Not, med not medications. Meditations with a T. No, never. Okay. okay. I would like you at some point, maybe tonight or tomorrow, whenever you have free time, to look up guided meditations. And you can find guided meditations for different things. You can find some that help you wake up in the morning. You can find some that help you go to sleep. You can specifically find some that are good for anxiety or anger issues. What you do when you listen to a guided meditation is you, you listen to what is the instructions that are being relayed to you and you do what is being told. One of the, uh, what I presented to you, the clenching of the fists and tightening up your body, that is actually something that you can find in some guided meditations as a calming technique. And it's really, really useful in some scenarios. It works for me with, for my anxiety and I hope that it works for you with some of your anger. Uh, that is one thing that I think you could try. Uh, are you in therapy at the moment? Yeah, I am. Clearly, it's not okay. Well, maybe you just don't have the right therapist. Maybe you're not uh, talking about the right things. It's not necessarily always that the therapy doesn't work. Maybe it just it hasn't started working yet because you're not quite there yet. And that's totally fine. It's just a matter of sticking to it. And I promise you, it is good. And already, I'm very proud of you for taking those steps. I promise you it will be worth it in the long run. I understand that it's it's very easy to ask for other people to take your feelings into consideration and for them to not try to get you upset because you have these anger issues. 
I understand where that comes from. However, it is not the responsibility of other people to cater to our issues. When I'm having anxiety, that is not someone else's fault. That is a result of my brain being on fire. And it is it is our responsibility as people with those issues to acknowledge when things are getting a little too much for us and to separate ourselves from that situation. So if you acknowledge that hearing about the victims, that the people that you have victimized, speaking openly about what they have been through, if that sets you off, I'm sorry, but it is your responsibility to take yourself away, to step away from that situation and to work on anything that'll make you feel better in the moment, whether that be gaming, whether that be playing Dungeons and Dragons or hanging out with your friends, whether that be guided meditations or taking a walk. Um, in the end, it'll showcase to your victims that you respect them, you understand that you have hurt them, and that you are willing to take the steps to better yourself as a person and to respect the distance that they request from you. There's one big issue with that, though. It's the okay. unfortunate thing is that the unfortunate thing is that once it's out there, I'm fucked. I, and let me explain why I'm fucked. Because you know, nobody's gonna be, nobody's gonna want to be around me. Nobody's gonna want to, you know, say that. Oh, why would I want to be around Sassy when he can't respect boundaries? And that's just not fucking true. You know, it's just <sighs> the whole the whole thing. No, no. no. Ponder has done an excellent job talking to you right now, but here's where I have to step in. <clears throat> I'm not trying to step on Ponder's toes here. It's not my intention. But there is a line that needs to be drawn here. Sasu, that is who you are. And that is what you have done. You have got to stop lying. Because that is what you have been trying to do this entire conversation. You have tried to lie about what you've done. You've tried to lie about how you've been treated. You've tried to lie about the actions you've taken behind the scenes. You've tried to lie about your motivations. That will not be permitted. No, sir. And on top of that, you are failing, I dare say intentionally, to recognize how your actions affected other people. So let me take, for example, one thing here. You talked about how bad you feel when people yell at you. They make you feel small and useless, but you did it to Sonny, knowing full well it would bother them. You weaponized that because of something you knew. You sat in this call and tried to say that you did not disagree with Lumi's boundaries. I literally played you the call where you literally said exactly that. And then, and this is what's disturbing to me, alright? Because let's not, let's not play games. I also have anger issues. This is what I'm working on. But the fact that you admitted that you wanted to do physical harm because somebody put up a boundary is extremely distressing. And I also know what you are trying to do right now. What you are trying to do is say, well, my life's over if this gets out. Sasu, here's, here's the kicker. And I need you to understand, it's an excellent quote from Roosevelt. If you could kick in the pants the guy who's responsible for 90% of your problems, you wouldn't be able to sit for a week. If the truth about your actions gets out, Sasu, that's your fault. Because you made those choices. You chose to operate like that. You chose to continually come back because I'm going to come back to that statement here. Because Ponder's right. You had the responsibility to remove yourself from the spaces, but you didn't. You had no reason to be in Zach's premiere and lose your mind over a single mention. You had no reason to do that. You also had no reason to go into Crystal Server and talk about how I'm friends with benefits with somebody that was family. You also didn't have a real reason to go to Tommy's house and lie about things or put some goofy Google Doc out. The truth of the matter is, Sasu, you have never properly been told no. So I am telling you that right now. And for the record, if you're wondering who put out the call, the breasts and a beard one, that was Weebus. He wanted me to let you know that. And I'm doing him the decency of doing that. Because you were off on that. You've been off on this entire thing. 
every time. Because what you want, Sasu, you don't want to be left alone. What you want, and this is going to sound cruel, but I need to be clear here, you want to be a victim, and you are not. Have there been people that we have treated poorly? Yes. I'll be blunt with you. Rosa, obviously. I've also treated some of my former mods poorly. 100%. And I shouldn't have. And I'm working to, re to repay that in other ways. What I'm not doing is running around lying about it and trying to side with weirdos that you know about to do so. I'm not doing that. Because I'm a grown man and I will own what I've done. You will not. You refuse to. You say your life's over if this gets out. No, it's not. You just might not be able to run around online like you used to. You might actually have to operate in the real physical world, which can 100% do you good in every avenue. You want to get your anger under control? Start lifting. Start going on jogs. Start doing physical activity. You want to have friends? Go to social events and learn how to interact. It's going to be trial by error, and it's going to suck for a while, but that's what you do. This continual desire to come back for, let's be honest, revenge... When, number one, I didn't do dick to you. Why? We're I was talking. patient with you. Why? We're talking. I said it to Sassy, I said it to you. Nope. We're talking. <laughs> I didn't do anything to you. Thank you, Crystal. I did not harm you. And you still acted like this. There's no justification for it, Sasu. There's no thing that will magically make it to where what you've done is okay. And nobody's obligated to be quiet about what you put them through, because we didn't put you through anything. Um. At all. Am I allowed to Go ahead, say Sonny. something? Since like, I think the call is, is winding down now. Uh, Sasu, are you still here? Well, it's not, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to be honest, dude. I'm, I'm just so tired um it's so exhausting to to listen to every call and, and listen back to everything and when it seems that the only only time that you recognize what you did wrong and then talk about it is is when people are nice to you and when people are using a gentle tone with you and it's so like i've heard myself say the exact same thing only once in a in a gentle tone and once in a in a in a more harsh tone and you react completely oppositely like opposite to both times and it it it's it's exhausting um but i'm not i'm not angry anymore i don't have that capacity in me anymore i i mean i don't have much to be like i i I'm not the main person that you affected during this, so I'm not going to speak too much on it. But I'm going to add on to what Liar said before, that you do need to operate in the real world. And I'm not saying that like a as a demeaning, yo, go touch grass, um, lol, terminally online. Like, I'm not using it like that. I'm saying that, you know, it, obviously it's it's difficult, right? It's It's hard to to have to operate in the real world and try to adjust to that type of thing but it's also hard you've said it yourself it is it is difficult it is hard to be online and see what people say about you so if it's going to be hard either way i would pick the route that's going to make you better in the long run because this is this is not healthy it, it's not healthy for anyone and and I just, I, I just need you, and I, I don't know how else to phrase this, so I apologize if this comes across a house, I just need you to go away. Because I'm, I'm, I'm tired of it, quite honestly. That's all, that's all I wanted to say. There's also, additionally, you'll tell people that you'll leave them alone, only to immediately turn around and change that. You did it to Asuka. You told her you weren't going to contact her, and then immediately later sent her an email saying that, you know you said that, but you're retracting that now. So, 
I'm going to be firm. I'm going to be blunt. And I'm not going to say this with the intention to be cruel, but with the intention to be clear. I have a fairly decent-sized community. I would like to maintain the safety of that community. You have, in this call, admitted not only that you will not respect boundaries, but that you had violent desires when somebody told you to respect that. You will not be in my community. I will not subject decent people to your actions. You have the right to change. You have the right to grow. You have the right to improve yourself, go to therapy, all that good stuff. You will not do it in my spaces. And you will not continue to consort with nefarious people that you know are nefarious just because you're mad over the fact that you're not allowed around here. Do you understand me? I understand clearly. You better. Is that anything you'd like because to say? Because if I can... Don't oh, lie. No. Whatever else may, needs to be said can be said in other ways. Yeah, I'd like to say, like, um, so, as well as explained, as, as I've explained as well, like, um, it's not again, well, it's just us setting our boundaries saying due to the things you said, and again, for different reasons, I have an issue with just the wording from before, and I had an issue with your, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it, I think the word you're looking for and the thoughts you're having are intrusive. I would like to believe you would never act upon them, and I would like to believe you would talk to your therapist about them and explain it, because intrusive thoughts are something everyone has. It's thoughts which like, just come in really abhorrent, and you're like, oh my god, why am I thinking that? Why am I feeling that way? This isn't okay. But it is normal. But if it's a con constant thought to the idea where you almost went down to Ireland, I would highly recommend you to look into that, because I don't want you to hurt yourself and or hurt anybody else with that being said so it's, is that it's actually well, a little more sin mm -hmm. sorry real quick it's actually a little more sinister than that because it's something i forgot to bring up that i'm going to now mm -hmm. sasu also had a thing for lumi something he's tried yeah. to deny in other situations but he has admitted to me so it adds more concern that this is somebody he had an interest in romantically that the minute a boundary is set up, the violent desire shows up. And part of the problem is, if it was just an intrusive thought, you and I might be simpatico on that, Crystal. So mm -hmm. I'm respectfully disagreeing with you here because he admitted that he has anger and violence issues. Somebody doesn't have issues that are just thoughts in that case. They're issues they've acted on. So, Sassu, yeah. have you ever done something in violence physically when you're angry? Rather not answer Before that you can question. answer that, well, I will answer it for you. Yes, you have. I heard you slamming your fist against the console. I also have the call where you threw things at your parents. So I have the answer to that. I was seeing if you were going to be honest. I've I've, so no. I've done violent shit. You're yeah. Not, yeah. So you're not safe. You're not well, and I'm not going to bully you over not being well. But I'm also not going to allow you around here. And if you are smart, if you have... And here's here's my disconnect, all right? Not just because you keep running to weirdos that you know are weirdos, but also... <clears throat> excuse me. How do I put this? Okay, I'll put it this way. If there is a tiger outside, and I have a desire to not die by tiger, I will avoid the tiger. Why? Because I know... Deep down, despite the alleged machismo and inability to admit I can be whooped that people seem to think I have, I'm not winning a fight against a tiger. I'm not. That thing's going to maul me if I'm lucky and kill me if I'm not. What you're doing, Sassy, is you're saying you're scared of that tiger, and then you go and poke it with a stick, and then you get surprised when you get cut. No more of that. If you don't want to be around, if you don't want to have the stress, leave. Disconnect. Get out into reality. Stop. Because you're not acting like you're worried about this community. You're acting like somebody else who we're also dealing with, who says they're totally scared of this community, but they keep coming back. You're, so I'm going to be super blunt. You're not getting your way. You're not going to get the revenge you think you are owed. 
You will not get the payback you think you are going to get. If anything, if you keep going and I find out you hurt somebody else, the only thing you're going to get are police at your door. Because now we've crossed the boundary of Sasu just being a dick to Sasu being a danger. And I will not play that game here. Do you understand me? Yeah, I understand you, but I'm just going to tell you straight up, you know, I can't operate in reality. You know this very well, dude. You know this 100%. That's quitter what? talk. Why Why do you feel that you can't act uh, within reality, Sasu, if you don't mind me asking? Listen, listen to what I just admitted. That's the darkest secret I have never wanted to admit. I was going to go to the grave with that secret. Now I'm... Uh, yeah, oh. I did reveal it. Uh, hold on. I revealed it on my own accord. And now, here I am, basically destroying whatever future I have with anybody. And, you know, make, basically making myself look like not only a fool, but a, a potential serial killer. So, again, you know, not only can I not operate because I'm unlikable and I can't control my anger, I'm fucked regardless. Nobody's going to be friends with me. Hold on. Nobody's going to be friends with me. Nobody's going to want to do anything with me. Because, again, I fucked myself. I totally fucked myself. Okay, Sasu, yeah. remember what I said oh. about the, the tightening exercises? I want you to try that right now, please. If you would be willing to indulge me. Um, I think you would honestly be surprised like how forgiving some people can be. Some people will understand that you have issues, especially anger issues, and they will still accept you. Well, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. You're not okay. being pushed around in this call. Go ahead, Crystal. Okay, Sassy, what we do is just take a second, because you're obviously very emotional, and there's nothing wrong with that. So, again, as you can see, literally in this call, me and Lai were dis like, disagreeing with like how we feel you could approach this. And again, that's okay. It's just, again, to beat those hug box allegations I've been facing. <laughs> Anyways, um, I if you felt no regret, if you felt no remorse, and you thought everything you did and everything you felt that you feel about these people and the thoughts that you had were normal, I would be a lot more concerned, but that you're showing this disgust, this like uneasiness with your own thoughts and feelings, it shows that you know this isn't normal, and that shows that you want to. Okay, here's the thing. You're sitting. Stop. Stop. You're saying, and here's where I'm going to be direct here, as I tend to be. You're saying, well, nobody would accept me. I can't get over this. Come on. There are literally felons out there who now work decent jobs, provide for their family, have stable lives and incomes, who have done, who've actually done physical harm to people. Some have been murderers, some have been gang members. Don't, no, what you're saying isn't congruent with reality. The truth of the matter is, Sasu, you have to actually work at it. It's not going to be given to you. Because one of the things I have learned about you, by watching how you react to things, and by how you are dealt with in terms of how your family does, you have been babied. You will not be by reality. Why? We're not doing this. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, you're clamming up this time. You're not a victim here. I'm sorry, but you're not. You're not. Sasu, if you're regretful, that's fine. Get offline and work on yourself. That's it. There's no easy answer here for you. Life can be rough. That's the truth of the... Sassy, okay. you're going here, to listen to what I'm, This is the last thing I'm saying in relation to this. Okay, so. From this call, you've expressed regret. From this call, you've acknowledged and you've backtracked, rightfully so, when presented with correct evidence. Ponder and I have shown that we are willing to understand. There's people out there willing to understand the position you're in. Not, like, babying you, saying, hey, this is what you've done, but there's ways to work around it. From what I've heard, you have a therapist, right? You have medication. What you need to do is be honest with your therapist, because as you said, you wanted to take this information about you having thoughts of wanting to hurt people to the grave of you. So that shows to me that you're not being honest with the professionals around you. We are only strangers on the internet. We can only provide so much help and so much guidance, but this is not our field. What I would highly recommend you to do is talk to your therapist, the one you have, and actually be honest with them, explaining that you have not acted upon these feelings, but you've had these thoughts, and then this can be dealt with, and then you can find ways to work around it. Because, again, as much as we can give advice, 
we aren't professionals. We're not in your day-to-day -day life. So, I do think you can change, but as Lyra said, you need to get offline. You need to stop focusing on trying to get revenge or thinking that everyone's out to get you because you did that with me. I don't know you, Sasu, and you assumed I was interconnected with Oblio. So you have this whole idea that everyone wants you gone and no more Sasu, but it's not like that. But I, again, it's, 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 again, there's last few things I'm saying, so I'm just going to get it all out of the way because it's a lot of points. Because I've noticed that you said um, you had the issues within your school life where you were rejected by the people you try to get close to. I can see how there would be echoes of that within the Senate, where you feel like, oh, history's repeating itself. So you are trying, at least from my opinion, again, not professional, but I feel like you're trying to get the said revenge you wanted on the people from your school days on the Senate, because you see the issues repeating. And now it's led to this big moment, the big build-up where you think, okay, the Senate's going to prove me right, I'm going to be attacked, I'm going to be dogpiled on, and like, it's going to be proven right, and now you've been treated in a very different way. You've been given respect, you've been given due diligence, and it's confusing. And you've confessed things in this call, which you're shit scared of, if we're being honest. No, I don't. I think, again, if you express to them that you haven't acted upon these actions, but yet you have these thoughts, you can get the help. There are anger management therapists, there's people who deal with this daily. We're not that. But again, we're not trained in that, but we've shown you a level of understanding. So if, if we, untrained professional, uh, un untrained people, on the internet can provide that to you, a therapist can do that ten times better. It's also probably worth noting, a therapist is going to be exceptionally more receptive if you tell them that you are concerned about these feelings, that you don't inherently want to act on them, that you recognize that they're not normal. Because then a therapist will understand that you want to get better, you want to grow, and you don't want to be like that. Of closure, you wanted a final note. And again, it was a bit silly, but again, you now see that we're not out to attack you. We, we don't all hate you. Like, this call, like, literally, what an hour of this call has just been us trying to understand where you're coming from, trying to understand your motives. So, again, you're not too far gone in any degree. You can get the help. But again, we can't provide that for you. We, like, while I know we're glad you can't provide it. While we're glad it's the first step. You've taken the first step in the right direction to admit to these feelings. We can only support you so much and give you so much closure, while a therapist can do so much more with that. Then you, then you need to say it to a therapist because we're not going to do that for you, Sasu. I know you're not. They're kind know you're to you, not. and I appreciate that they have been, but this is to make things very clear where the line in the sand is. We're not going to be your therapist. We're not going to coddle you. I think that this call needs to wrap up, honestly, because oh, yeah. we've said what we need to. We've said what we need to. You've been given very clear, defined lines. Do not be so foolish that you cross them again, which means I don't want to hear about you being in the server. I don't need to because I'm not interested in hearing excuses for your lack of autonomy. I'm not going to pay attention to that because that's an excuse, Sasu, not a reason. And I'm not it's obligated not... to accept it. What? You choose to join servers. You choose to type out those messages. You choose to continue perpetuating things. That is not compulsion. That is cognitive desire. No, sir. We're not doing this. Nope. I am sorry, yeah. but I will <laughs> not permit that in the server. Yeah. No, that's... It's it's an interesting one. I, I wanted to say before we eat, got to that point being like, hey, here's the clear boundaries. You're not welcome in this server. You're not welcome in my server. Leave Sunny alone. Leave all right the other people alone. Yeah. Well, thank you already he, knows. That's, that's yeah, a problem. Yeah, he knows that, but he could. he's probably going to argue the fact like, oh, I didn't know the clear boundaries, so I like to let like relay the boundaries of what he said so people are aware of it. <laughs> But yeah, no, well, I, I feel like... can, but I just banned him. Yeah, no, I feel you like can that... relay in DMs, maybe. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. I I can. I'm still I'm still friended to him. I can. Yeah, could you send in that message, being like, okay, just so you understand, here's the boundaries which have been set by the people who have mm -hmm. asked. That'd be awesome. If someone else, uh, if someone else writes it, I can I can send it. Um, 
Yeah. Do we need anything else now, or should I end the recording? At the end of recording? Nope. I think that that's all we've got. Uh, thank you both to Ponder and for Crystal for going the directions you feel you needed to in the call. I'll be in mod chat in case we need to uh, sort anything else yeah. out. I think that was like overall, apart from the end, I think that went really well, if I'm being honest. <laughs> like, the ending I was a bit interesting. <laughs> but hey, we did good. We cooked. I'm gonna fucking barf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, therapist Ponder oh. going back in the closet. <laughs>